Palau is an enigma, a true pearl of the planet, a natural cathedral. a church of nature. Hi, my name is Charlie, and welcome to Explore. Out here, underneath this surface, is the most magical world you're ever gonna experience. A place where purity still exists. Every morning, I swim this bay, and I go out to sea and dive. And every morning, just right here, is a world teeming with life, an energy indescribable. For me personally, it's been a long time since I've been out on the road, maybe 10, 15 years. Not even comfortable speaking in the camera anymore. Don't know if it's my turn. Kind of time to hand the torch to the younger generation. Kind of feel like the village elder in a way. Palau brought me out. join me on this underwater journey. I mean, I always used to say, welcome to explore, never stop learning. We're back. Palau brought us back. We have a population of eight billion people on this planet. Think about that for a moment. Think about the impact. And here in Palau, they have a population of 22,000, yet they are leading the charge in marine conservation. They've conserved 80% of their oceans to protect it. And that's no easy task. There are so few natural cathedrals left on this planet, places where purity, consciousness come together in a fabric of a beautiful community. Having the privilege to dive here in Palau, what I experienced was what it must be to build the Sistine Chapel. It's perfection. The blue corner, it is the prettiest experience I've ever had. You feel as if you're hang gliding in the ocean. The current is so strong, it lifts you up and you have to spread your arms like wings, like you're soaring with the manta as the sharks glide by. And there was just so much life. I realized in that moment that nature truly heals. We don't claim to be PhDs. My hope is simply to lay breadcrumbs so you can connect with the natural world and fall in love because we take care of what we love. I don't know if I'll be able to put the live cams in those places. But I do know I brought an incredibly talented film crew here to come and archive it. Asia, in particular China, comes here and they offer vast sums of money to people that have so very little to get access to their marine time waters. But no one accepts it because they live in harmony with nature. They value the purity of their ocean, their land. Where the dollar is not seen in purchasing power, but in what's behind us. How can this small island nation state take such a lead? They're setting the tone for the world to follow. It's time for us to join them. Palau's an interesting country. It just recently got its independence. And so they're finding their way. But in discovering themselves, they value community, 
in the land they live on. And this ocean is life to them. One of the greatest blessings of my life was to experience the Blue Corner here in Palau. You scale up these coral reef walls. You see all these intricate designs. There's this deep blue current where sharks are swimming by. There's this entire ecosystem of perfection living in harmony. It is the purest place I've ever been to. And when I went down, <laughs> the funniest experience, this Napoleon Wrath fish, 300 pounds, lives 38 years, just swam up to me and perched himself behind my head. Now the journey for the Napoleon Wrath isn't easy. It's actually an endangered animal. On the open market, the Chinese will spend over $85 a pound for this fish if you just catch it and give it to them. And a fish weighs three, 400 pounds. Why again, I respect the plowing so much. The Palauians stand up to all of this with pride. It makes me wonder if our value system sometimes is completely upside down. For what's more valuable, that what we extract from the earth or that which we preserve in the earth. They are the recipient of all the world's pollution. Seas are rising, seasons are changing. There's no protection for them. And yet they are leading the entire world in marine conservation. While we sit off at conferences and get so little done. They honor the sea, they honor the lunar cycle. And instead what they're trying to do is become a beacon of light for the industrialized world to follow. And if a population of 22,000 could conserve 80% of their oceans, imagine what we could do. So I feel like this is just chapter one and it's just to experience this natural cathedral in its highest form. And of course today, I was reminded that what I thought was a Sistine Chapel I experienced in C grade. Because see, everything here in Palau operates around the stars and the moon and that I needed to be here during a full moon because that's when spawning occurs. So I hope we're gonna to get to return to Palau and together we can really live the lunar cycle. But there's so many more projects here. I'd love to meet with the rangers that are protecting from poaching. Meet more of the community elders that are keeping society together. Visit some of the school kids such a unique country. How is such a tiny place leading the world? What does that say about us? I came in so, so excited from this experience with this Napoleon wrath fish. I know this sounds crazy, but that fish is the Dalai Lama of the sea. He healed me. And I believe that if we can get your youth out to that fish, it will transform everyone. See, a lot of local plowians outside of fishing don't have the means to get out there and connect. So the elders are concerned that they're losing touch with their cultural ways. And so I suggested, this is one idea, and I hope I have many others, that perhaps we could underwrite a dive program where we could teach kids, high school kids, to become certified and take them out there and let them fall in love with, which is right under their nose. So many of these pearls of the planets, we come in, we stay at nice hotels, but the locals, they can't even afford to go on a trek. They can't afford to go diving. And so in Rwanda, I'd always suggest, let's get the high school kids to go gorilla trekking because once you fall in love, you'll take care of it forever. So I hope even a small action like that, if we can do that, will start letting the future generations of Palauians realize that there is so much magic out here. This 
is the definition of treasure. It's not material goods, it's life. And there is so much life out here. There are no plastics on this beach. When you're in the water, everything is living in harmony. And I'm so grateful to have been called to come to this tiny island nation state of 22,000 and so humbled to learn so much. I didn't know beaches exist that don't float with plastic. I didn't know that reefs and ecosystems flowed in harmony. I honestly didn't know that people cared so much. I thought you had to be part of a nonprofit to care. And all these Palauians, they're truly selfless heroes. And championing the selfless acts of others has always been the mission of Explore. This journey is just beginning, but I'm so humbled to be here and to share it with you. As you always say, welcome to Explore. Never stop learning Palau style. <laughs>